evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The homeland is at war and the boys are ready to go to the front line to do their duty. Volodya Avedisyan. Our tough presidents called for the formation of the new international anti-terrorist coalition disseminated in the OSCE. Fights continue in the southern direction. Minister of Defense of the Republic of Armenia. Azerbaijan shelled Ghazanchetzot Church of Sushi and peaceful settlements of Artsakh. Kurdish politician about the Artsakh war. News from Western Armenia. The Retilia Folk Ensemble of Vilnius University wishes peace to Artsakh with the song. Freedom fighter Colonel Volodya Avedisyan will soon leave for Artsakh together with his comrades in arms, President of Western Armenia Armena Kabramian, Vani Kabramian, Harutsun Hakopian, and a number of freedom fighters. In a conversation with the press service of the Republic of Western Armenia, Volodya Avedisyan mentioned, The homeland is at work. The boys are ready to go to the front line to fulfill their duty to the homeland. Naturally, we have victims and casualties. This fact is very painful for us, but we have no right to be depressed because the homeland needs us. We go consciously. The boys fulfill the task set before them excellently. They cause great losses to the enemy. Any attempt to advance is prevented. It is thrown back with losses. Volodya Avedisyan is convinced that soon our troops will stand on the Kur Arak crossing line, that they will liberate Nahijevan and the cradle of all Armenians, Western Armenia. On October 7, the call of the President of the Republic of Artsakh, Arai Karutunyan, for the formation of the new international anti-terrorist coalition was disseminated in the OSCE. The President in particular underscored that right now Artsakh and the Republic of Armenia are at the forefront of the fight against the international terrorism. All nations of the world must prevent Turkey's plans to turn Azerbaijan into a hotbed of terrorism in the South Caucasus. As the president of the country fighting for the independence, I call on the civilized world to take an active part in the fight against terrorism. The imperative of the day is the creation of an effective international anti-terrorist coalition, the president emphasized. During the night, the situation in the Artsakh-Azerbaijani conflict zone was stable and tense. Early in the morning at half past eight, the enemy attempted to attack from the central direction in the southern direction, but losing three units of military equipment, leaving more than 20 dead and wounded, fled from the outskirts of Jebrail. Republic of Armenia Minister of Defense spokesperson Shushan Stepanyan wrote on her Facebook page. As a result of the enemy shelling, the Ghazan Chetzot Holy Savior Church in the Shushi was damaged. The Artsakh Information had caught reports that during the night the enemy continued shelling Stepanagert and other peaceful settlements. Azerbaijani Turkish terrorist forces are targeting civilian infrastructure, hospitals, and objects of vital importance. According to Ria Novosti correspondent in Artsakh, the shelling of Stepanagert is also going on at the moment. Smoke is observed near the power plant, they probably hit the station. Ishkan Aslan Ankasi, former Kurdish diplomat and politician, in an interview with ANF Euphrates, told that the war unleashed by Azerbaijan in Artsakh due to the Turkish provocation continues in earnest. According to him, Turkey's direct participation in the war continues to provoke reactions from international forces. Ankasi says that no matter how much the war seems to be going on only in Artsakh, nevertheless, all the international forces, mainly Turkey, are participating in this war. Their goal is to seize the geography of the region and the resources of wealth. The former diplomat politician says now Erdogan has impoverished his people at the expense of the money he has collected from his own people in the name of taxes in order to gather terrorist groups in Syria and force them to fight. For what? Is he doing this to realize his Ottoman dream or for his own dictatorship? An apricot tree has blossomed in Malaysia, Western Armenia. The blossomed apricot tree surprised the resident. A tornado in Korkut province of Mush has caused panic. 516 coins of different historical value and various items were confiscated in the city of Antaik at the center of Hatay. The 2,000-year-old tree, 11 meters wide and 25 meters high in Ardavins Murgul province, has been registered as state property under the name Tree of Remembrance. Vilnius University Retilio Folk Ensemble expressed its support for Arta by performing the Lithuanian folk song Pone Karalau. As reported by Armen Press, the members of the ensemble mentioned in the video published on the internet that the song Pone Karalau is considered sacred and helps to overcome difficult times. With this song, the ensemble prays for peace all over the world. We want peace in Nagorno-Karabakh too, they said. Now let us represent to your attention a song by Shawakan Ensemble.
You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.